Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. It got to be illegal for me to be so wrong. What up, though? Heist man, the foe talk that talk, ghetto news and opinions, man. Sad news in the sports world, the entertainment world, the pop culture world, all around, man. All right, peach of this brother right here, man. OJ Simpson just passed away at the age of 76 years old, man. All right, peach to him, man. He got a big head, yo. I ain't trying to disrespect the dead, man, but y'all know. Everything about OJ man and what he meant to this to this world we live in. I'm old man, so I know all this stuff, man, about OJ. This I'm gonna run through a few of his accolades, man. But he did pass away and we gotta acknowledge that. But yo, that was not on my bingo card, man. My wife woke me up, she like, yo, Dennis. You know, that's my real name. She like, yo, OJ died. I'm looking like, oh shit, OJ. Oh, OJ. Oh man. So yo, y'all don't know, man. He played football. For the Buffalo Bills back in the days. I think he played for the 49ers also. But yo, he, man. OJ and what's his girl name? Nicole Brown. He married her and y'all know what happened. Allegedly, we don't know what went down, you know, but y'all, yo, the Bronco Chase, y'all remember that? That was wild, man. I was watching that on TV. That was crazy. But, you know, he got charged for her murder along with Ron Goldman also. But, if the gloves don't fit, you must have quit. And he was acquitted for that. A lot of people don't like that. A lot of people don't know, you know. You know, that was a it was a, it was a tough time for racial um racial division back then. I, a lot of people think he got off just because they didn't want no more stuff to go down over there in LA. It was a lot, man. It was crazy. I remember that being on um all through the news, man. I know like Judge Edo. I don't know him personally, but you know what I mean, man. Like Doing this whole OJ thing, I learned a lot about a lot of people. Kato Kalen, Judge, you know, these are some of the, the names. Ron Goldman, um, Darton, Christopher Darton, all this stuff. They've made a TV show with it later, back in the, um, not too long ago. But, yo, I remember being in school. I think I was in, what, seventh grade when this was going down. And um, I remember the, um, the teacher rolling in the the TV on the big cart just to see the um, the trial. The white teacher too, but I think we should um to see the guilty or not get diverted. That's what it was. It was like yo, this, it was so big that our teacher rolled in the, the TV to see it, to see the verdict of the trial. Man, that's crazy. But yo, you know he got locked up again. He was old then. Him and his gang. It was funny because everybody told my OJ still got a gang. OJ had a group of old dudes. Man went back, stole his rem memorabilia, and. They locked his ass up for that, boy. They, like, they threw the book at him. They gave him like 100 years. It was like they tried to get him back for what he did or allegedly did. And I don't know if he did it. We don't, everybody. <laughs> mm. We ain't going to talk about that, man. We're going to talk about this Friday, though, man. A whole lot of OJ shit going on Friday on the show. But, yo, he did movies, man. He was in Roots. Him, look at him and young Kuta Kente. Toby. It's crazy, man. He was in them Hertz commercials back then. Did he hurt somebody for real? Uh, <laughs> nah, I'm playing. Um, what's this? He did them uh, movies with Leslie Nielsen, them Naked Guns show. That was crazy. That was wild. We should like that, man. Leslie Nielsen, he was dope. Y'all don't know who that is, man. I'm old, man. But y'all might have seen him recently on Cam and Mace on It Is What It Is podcast. I always thought this was crazy because um, there was Killer Cam and Murder Mace and OJ. He was like, y'all were like the damn Avengers of Killers, wouldn't you? OJ, Murder Mace, Killer Cam. I don't know, man. I ain't trying to make light of this, man. But it's just, it's OJ. And OJ passed away. So we got to talk about him, man. OJ lived a long life. Um, I'm not black. I'm OJ. Okay. What's my man named Jay-Z? He made that song. The story of OJ. Because OJ wasn't black. That's what he tell you. I ain't black. I'm OJ. A lot of people, black people didn't mess with OJ. He didn't mess with black people either. But when that trial came, it was like, we don't like how y'all doing this, man. Y'all had, what's my man name? Mark Furman trying to set him up and all that shit. It's crazy. This shit go a long way. White people, they loved OJ too back in them days. Then when he got that murder charge, it was like, nope, we don't mess with you no more. But OJ was still running around town, chilling. Damn, man, OJ. OJ was dope, man. I guess. Like, he ain't really mess with us, but you know what I mean, man. It's just... 
Mm-hmm. Everybody got to go, man. 76 years old, OJ passed away. They said he had pancreatic cancer or something like that. I repeated him, wish him well and all his peoples. Um, it's Khloe Kardashian, his daughter. That's a rumor. We don't know. Like, goddamn. OJ, he kind of the reason why the Kardashians popping. Because of their daddy. They took all that money from OJ in that trial. Made him rich. Gave him money when he died to the... Ch- I don't know. Could have been Ray J's penis also to make him rich. We're not talking about that. We're talking about OJ, man. Matter of fact, we're going to be talking about this Friday right here on this channel. Because I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. talking about stuff just like this. You just got to come through and holler at me, man. Hit that like button, the comment button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. All them good buttons you got to hit to get this pimping that I'm putting out when I put it out. And like I said, I go live every Friday at 9 p.m. Come through, join the conversation. And holler at your boy. Heist Man the Foe, tell me what y'all feel about this. Tell me, do y'all remember any of these things that happened with OJ? Do y'all remember the OJ trial? Do y'all remember the the Bronco chase? He had AC, Al Cowens, driving him around. I remember watching on TV like, oh, shit. Is he going to get away? Did he do it? Like, that was a big thing, man. Ugh, pause. No, did it. That was a big time. Y'all know what I mean, man. Back doing them OJ trial, man. The gloves. Everybody talking about the gloves. That's crazy. He did get quitted. F. Lee Bailey. Johnny Cochran. Man, he had a, he had a, what do you call it, the dream team? He had a dream team of lawyers, man, to try to get him off. Or, or they did get him off because they was not playing with OJ, man. I'm going to go back and watch that trial now. I just remember the, the Dancing Edos on um, Jay Leno's show. He had a whole bunch of little Judge Edos, the Asian, I ain't going to call them Chinese. I don't know his oriental background, but y'all know what I mean, man. And it was funny when he got locked up again. Him and his old gangsters, old crew of gangsters, old thugs. Niggas about 88 years old apiece. Now they're trying to steal memorabilia back. That's crazy. OJ and Roots, we talked about that, yep. Them Hertz commercials, talked about that. There's the Mills. Yeah, that's it, man. This, other than that, OJ passed away, man. I don't know. Um, a lot of people going to be dissing him, talking about him. They're going to like it, love it, or whatever. Um, it was crazy. He came out with a book called If I Did It. Mm-hmm. He was walking around. He was, he was still playing with the people, man. A lot of people, a lot of white people going to be happy about this. He was still playing with the people, but still making comments and shit on Twitter. At his age, he was saying shit like, he don't want to be in L.A. because the killer might be out there still. And he might be sitting next to him. And Just, just go away, man. Don't say shit. But mm-hmm. Then you get on the show with Killer Cam and Murder Mace. Don't do shit like that, man. Um... You alright with me, man, I guess. I ain't trying to disrespect the dead or nothing, but you know what I mean. You just use a big icon. Pop culture icon, at least. I mean, you was a great running back too, man, but we definitely be talking about this Friday. Come through and holler at your boy. Heist man the folk. Talk their talk, ghetto news and opinions. We're gonna be talking about this shit Friday. Right here on this channel. At 9 p.m. This is a dangerous group that groups that we're dealing with now. All right. This time, but I'll be back and sooner than you think. Wherever there's prejudice, ignorance, inequality, I'll be there.